Let's take a moment to dive into the fascinating world of aviation, a realm where two distinct yet equally vital professions thrive, aeronautical engineers and aircraft maintenance engineers, or AMEs. Now, you might think they're just two sides of the same coin, but oh, how different they truly are. Picture this. One group is designing the future of flight, while the other ensures that those marvels of engineering are safe and ready to soar. So let's unpack this a bit and see what makes each role unique, shall we? First off, let's talk about education and training. If you want to become an aeronautical engineer, you're looking at a solid foundation in science and math. Typically, you'd need a bachelor's degree in aeronautical or aerospace engineering. This isn't just a walk in the park. You're delving into subjects like aerodynamics, propulsion and structural analysis. It's all about designing and developing aircraft, satellites and even space vehicles. Some might even go further and pursue a master's degree to specialise in areas like aircraft design or systems engineering. It's a rigorous path, but for those who thrive on innovation and creativity, it's incredibly rewarding. On the flip side, if you're leaning towards becoming an aircraft maintenance engineer, your journey looks a bit different. You'll need to complete an aircraft maintenance engineering course, which typically lasts between two to four years. This training is hands-on and practical, focusing on the nitty-gritty of aircraft maintenance. You'll learn about mechanical, electrical and avionics systems and once you complete your course you'll need to obtain specific licenses to work on certain aircraft. Think of it as a badge of honour that proves you're qualified to keep those planes flying safely. Now let's move on to their responsibilities. Aeronautical engineers are the visionaries they design and develop aircraft, working tirelessly on airframe structures and propulsion systems to enhance performance and safety. They're the ones running simulations and wind tunnel tests, pushing the boundaries of what's possible in the sky. They analyse test data to refine their designs, always ensuring they comply with strict aviation regulations. Their work happens mostly in offices, laboratories and manufacturing facilities where they can unleash their creativity and technical skills. Meanwhile, AMEs are the guardians of safety in aviation. They're the ones rolling up their sleeves and getting their hands dirty. Their day-to-day -day responsibilities involve inspecting and maintaining aircraft to ensure they meet safety standards. They troubleshoot issues, perform routine maintenance and carry out emergency repairs when things go awry. Imagine being the person who ensures that every single airplane is airworthy before it takes off, checking engines, hydraulics and electronics. The responsibility is immense and their expertise is crucial for the safety of everyone on board. When it comes to licensing and certifications, there's a stark contrast as well. Aeronautical engineers typically don't need specific licenses to practice their craft, though they might pursue additional certifications to bolster their credentials. On the other hand, AMEs must obtain licenses from aviation authorities like the FAA or EASA, which require passing exams and gaining hands-on experience. These licenses are essential because they're the ticket to being able to perform maintenance on specific aircraft types or systems. The stakes are high and the training is rigorous, but it's all in a day's work for these dedicated professionals. Now, Let's talk about career opportunities and growth. Aeronautical engineers often find themselves working for major aircraft manufacturers, space agencies, or even in research institutions. They can take on roles like design engineer or flight test engineer, and with experience, they often move into management or R&D leadership positions. The sky is literally the limit for them, 
On the other hand, AMEs predominantly work with airlines or maintenance companies. They might start as technicians but can advance to lead technicians or even chief maintenance engineers with experience and additional certifications. Their career path is equally rewarding, offering opportunities to specialise in mechanical or avionic systems. And what about the numbers? When we look at salaries, aeronautical engineers generally start with a higher paycheck, often ranging from $60,000 to $90,000 per year, depending on the country. With experience, they can easily surpass $100,000, especially in specialised fields. Meanwhile, AMEs start a bit lower, typically between $40,000 and $60,000. However, Experienced AMEs can earn between $70,000 and $100,000, especially as they gain licenses for advanced aircraft systems. So what's the takeaway from all this? While both aeronautical engineers and aircraft maintenance engineers play critical roles in the aviation industry, their paths are quite distinct. Aeronautical engineers are the innovators, crafting the designs and technologies that push the envelope of flight. In contrast, aircraft maintenance engineers are the hands-on heroes, ensuring that every aircraft is safe and ready to fly. In the grand scheme of aviation, both professions are indispensable. They work in tandem, each contributing their unique skills and expertise to the industry. Whether you're fascinated by the idea of designing the next generation of aircraft or you're drawn to the challenge of maintaining them, there's a place for you in this incredible field. So which path resonates with you? The sky is calling and it's time to choose your adventure.